Hi Virgo, I'm Shara from Charlie's Angel Tarot. Um, if you're new, welcome to the um, uh, channel. And this is your uh, reading for the coming seven months. I got this idea because uh, nobody knew about the coronavirus. We all knew and thought it would be a better year and um, that there would be uh, big, big changes. Well, the big changes are here now and we know what the biggest change is. That is the coronavirus that has caused it. And that's why I thought, right, I'll better make an update on the yearly. And so you can compare the, this reading with your yearly reading and what was uh, foretold or what energy there was going to be then. So I hope you will enjoy this reading. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one, uh, reading with me, I, go, I do it live. I also tape it. Um, I can also do video and Skype calls or Zoom calls, whatever you wish. Please go to my uh, website. You can either press on this little button here in the corner or you can go below the video and in the description box you have all the informations. I do go live um, uh, when Monday, Wednesday and Friday unless something comes in between. Um, and I wanted to get these four done yesterday but it was such a busy day. They, they are about 25 to 27 minutes long, most of them. So I was exhausted and um, I had to wait for something um, and so something came in between my excuses. But here you are Virgo, this is your reading, okay? And take it, take from it what you can. I hope I motivate people to um, to do things, to stay safe, to stay happy, and to know that better times are coming. Okay, the first card that you have, Virgo, is the Hermit. The Hermit. And the Hermit means uh, taking time out and meditate, contemplate, and it is a wise um, advice really because we should do that always. Before we take action we should decide what kind of action we should take and how. So that if you're not a meditator then just sit down quietly every day and take time out and think about a situation, a question, an issue, whatever, and think what you can do to improve it or to complete the task at hand. The hermit is also, uh, he also represents a uh, Virgo. So you, um, it is very uh, s strongly advised Virgo that you do take time out also to rest. Now that everything is starting to open up and getting back to as what we knew um, how life was, it will be quick, 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 a rat race, okay? So, um, and still I think that a lot of people are going to keep on working from home. Not because of the coronavirus, but this is also uh, the municipalities, the governments, the institutions are taking also use out of this situation um, because of the economic situation. It will be cheaper to have people working from home. It will save on uh, travel uh, money uh, or petrol or um, because most employers do substitute the, their employees for traveling and traveling time. So to work from home will be more to their advantage in their pocket and to you as well of course because you'll have more time at home and take it easy in, instead of being in the metro or the train or the bus. So take time out and contemplate on how you can work from home for example and to create your own space. Okay, and then we have the uh, Page of Cups. There is news coming for you. This could be of passion or of love. Or about your passion. Your job might be your passion. Or 
it might be a hobby it could also be a cancer a scorpio or a Pisarian um, that is sending you news it could be about love or passion so that was your card for june this is july august september october november december so we're going to july now and then you've got the wheel of fortune yes in the olden days um, it used to be the holidays the summer holidays usually start in july um, for some uh, it will and for some it won't i th i also think a lot of people will maintain working um, throughout the summer instead of taking holidays because um, they've been without work for the last two three or four months people sorry about that guys um, I'll try to cut it out um, some people will have to catch up with the backlog some people haven't been working and haven't received wages so a lot of people are pleased that they can go back to work and um, so they can start uh, paying debts and um, getting out of the, the worries of financial worries and some people might go on holiday because the wheel does mean moving home or going on holiday traveling something is coming full circle okay so where there is an ending there is also a new beginning um, it, the, the, the wheel of fortune also says you might be getting a promotion or you might be going on to the next level in work or in relationships if you've been going uh, out with somebody then you might go uh, and, and and live with somebody move in with somebody but uh, perhaps that lightens also the financial load besides loving somebody and caring for somebody and having a beautiful relationship this is also my karma card so if you've done good or bad you'll get it back threefold if somebody's done you wrong or good they'll get it back threefold so remember this is an optimistic card a new beginning because something is coming full circle well if the coronavirus uh, stops and I hope it does then that's come full circle and there will be new beginnings there will be things on offer for you in July Virgo as you have the four of cups the four of cups means that you might be depressed or too much in your head so get out of your head come into action and see what is around you not in front of you but around you there's more on offer than you are conscious of at the moment so don't focus on your sadness or um, depression get out of it now that is July sorry not August we're going into August now and in August we have the nine of cups come on come on come on we have the nine of cups the nine of C so your wish or a goal is coming true again an ending and a new beginning happy times your wish will come into fulfillment and you have the eight of Pentacles like I said in July it might be in July that you're getting this promotion or the next level up but you definitely got recognition as you've got the eight of Pentacles and actually I love the way they've done it different signs it just reminds me of the chakras and there are sort of like celebrations above him and I love that how it's being depicted in this card there are all wreaths of celebrations and flags so there will be celebrations perhaps some of you might get your diploma at long last somebody might get a promotion um, but you are getting recognition this could be of an employer or of uh, a loved one somebody loves you doodly do nice one it could be a Virgo or a Capricorn or a, a Taurus as you have the hermit which is Virgo but don't exclude other signs okay 
then you have the death card again endings you're in a transformational period new beginnings it could be a Scorpio Ooh, that has an eye on you okay and then you have the seven of cups dreams goals wishes Ah, you've got so many but you don't know which one to choose so with this card I always say make sure it's a realistic dream or a goal and make a pro and cons list so that you can get one wish or goal fulfilled quickly and that will motivate you to carry on on to the next one there's loads of new beginnings this is also a beginning because this is a nine so there is an ending there's an ending to drama perhaps an ending to being alone uh, um, an ending to um, appear a face and uh, you're going into a better face you've got three cards you've got the wheel you've got a nine of cups and you've got the death and it's all new beginnings again you have a nine so that means also an ending you've been through the war you've been, you feel tired but you're taking a rest now before you start that fourth new beginning and I'm getting to hear Virgo take it easy take it easy you can't you know if you are having so many new beginnings take it easy take your time out you have to save your energy to make priorities like I said with your wishes and goals make a pro and cons list and see which is the the one that can be fulfilled or come to reality uh, first so it will motivate you to take the next step don't take on too much hay on your fork okay because you'll be worn down you'll be tired and that's, that's the end of it then it won't happen because you'll fall back and become sick you've got the fall you've got the fall so there is a new beginning the ending is being confirmed but the ending is also going to be a new beginning he's dreaming about his goal or his wish take that leap of faith now in that is October so you have a busy time ahead of you then we have the Queen or the a female Alpha Pentacle so um, that's the Queen of Pentacles and she nurtures everything into blossoming and so she can harvest the ground in November is fertile so if you wish to get pregnant then that is the time you might hear of a birth this could be of a child or a project you will nurture it like she does it will grow and it will blossom so you can pluck the harvest okay this could uh, the Queen is generally um, Virgo so you are in your um, element but um, the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo the King is Taurus and the page is Capricorn but don't exclude the other signs either Virgo then you have the um, world card again the world card is the same to me as the wheel of fortune the karma card so something is coming together the balance is here and it will stay with you for a long time moving home um, going on holiday something is coming full circle what goes up must come down go down what goes down must come up okay what goes round comes round now this in this card it's an infinity symbol which is like that but she's also dreaming or he's also dreaming like the fool in the same cat so your dream something is coming full circle and your dreams will come true perhaps you're going to get a promotion or you're going to go in your romance life you might step up a notch and to the next level they're saying you might get promoted you've laid down the seeds 
and you're getting recognition right in August uh, yes August so perhaps it might not happen in August that you'll get promoted but it could happen in November in December you have the nine of earth the nine of earth means nine of pentacles and that is money 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 you have money you'll have that promotion or that gift the nine of pentacles is a nine so it's an end of a face so it's an end of a difficult financial face you're going into a better face Aha. and now we've got the four of pentacles so you are this is um, the four of pentacles the basic meaning in the traditional tarot means miser you're holding on to money but to me I read more into this card you have been closed off or you are closed off you've closed your mind you've closed your heart your uh, solar plex because in the traditional tarot you see a man with a coin above his head a coin covering his chest and two coins um, cuff under his shoes so that the divine energy cannot go through his body so open your mind open your mind to new ideas let go open your heart to love and fun if you keep it closed you don't shine you're not the beacon if you're alone then open your heart and also your solar plex and learn to laugh again because then you're the beacon and you are the magnet people will love you and you are attractive now if you're spending too much money in December then bank some hold on to some so if you become unemployed again or if you become sick because you're going to have a big changes and uh, n loads of endings and new beginnings perhaps you might change from job once or twice because you're also getting promoted and you might not like the promotion so you will switch back okay so have an open mind hold on to save some for a rainy day but if you are tight with money it's allowed you can spend a little bit okay If you spend too much, it's warning you to tighten those purse strings. And, like I said twice, you might be getting married. You might be um, moving upwards in your relationship. Uh, so you might be getting married, because this is the marriage card. Celebrations. Celebrations. If, if you are married, then it will be an other celebration. Perhaps that promotion, or perhaps that baby that you wanted that child and if you're too mature uh, to have a baby perhaps it, you are becoming a granny and you're celebrating that you might also be invited to weddings or other celebrations and the overall energy of the clarification cards that is the hanged man okay so you've basically got two spiritual cards because the hermit does meditation and so does the hanged man but the hanged man gets a different perspective and the hermit tries to do it by withdrawing now the hanged man is hanging in the curtains in this card but usually he hangs from a tree upside down to get a different perspective and in his legs it's usually crossed but the cat can't so it looks like a four so there might have been delays for four hours four days four weeks four months or something might have been delayed for four years perhaps you've been studying and it was delayed after delay after delay and now it is the coronavirus for four months of delay so perhaps that will be lifted up at the end of uh, 
them uh, December what's the fourth month the fourth month is April so that could be um, lifted up now and you can go back to school in some countries the children are going back to school again and here in Holland people are after four months aren't allowed to do their exams so there have been delays but they are uh, and they've got a different perspective so they've found another way of doing their exams great stuff you're seeing things also in a different way you know that the changes are different and you can manage it now for the inspiration card from Wayne Dyer we have seen the God force everywhere if you don't believe in God then see the divine see the the universe okay everyone and everything contains God or the source be on the a lookout to see the s force everywhere in every living thing become cognizant of how this force has delivered many blessings to you throughout your life and continu continues to do so so get that different perspective it is time you've got time from the Lenaman and time means time is of essence perhaps you've got deadlines deadlines to meet or take your time like I said take your time don't do too many projects at the same time the hermit and the hanged man are here and they are saying take time out contemplate meditate and evaluate before you start at something so you know you can finish it now I've got these cards show and tell these are just like normal playing cards that's what the um, person that designed them meant them to be but they've uh, done so well in the world that even managers CEOs psychologists psychiatrists life coaches are using them to break open the ice to conversation uh, what does this card mean for you I will hold it up and you can take a picture a screenshot of it and you can print it out and look at it when you contemplate or sit quietly what does the, this photo mean to you as strong as a lion or his roar is worse than his bite or is this lying uh, lioness or lion laughing what does it mean to you think about it or do you want another puskat a new cat I think they're great fun and the romance card true love this romance this is the romance of a lifetime and I think it could be right you've got the four of wands Wow well Virgo compare this reading with your yearlies um, and have a look what energy has changed I hope you have enjoyed this reading take care and stay safe and be beautiful love yourself okay spoil yourself a little bit take time out as well for yourself love you and I hope to see you in the live sessions if not I'll hope to see you in the next video and thank you very much cyber angels angels for your loyal support if you're new please subscribe and hit the bell on all so that you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded ciao ciao